What's happening, ladies? What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Nando Brown from the School of Canine Science, and I'm back. I hope you're all doing well during lockdown, um, and it's not too draining on you, but I wanted to give you a bit of an update. It's a very quick video, um, and it's basically an update on the the video I did a while ago, a couple of months ago, I put out this video called the six best tactical military style collars in the world and it did really well. It kind of blew out of proportion. And um, so thank you for watching that video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave it at the end of this video or I'll drop a little box that you can watch it uh, somewhere. When I kind of do those kind of videos, what happens regularly is I'll have businesses get in touch with me. Now, it's a really fortunate position to be in. I'm not moaning, okay, I promise you. Um, but there's pros and cons to that. Now, a lot of various businesses are brand new. They're forming, they've got an idea and they want to get out to mass market or they've just come up with really shit ideas. Now, occasionally, a really good idea will come through. As I hope you've noticed on this channel is we won't put up anything we don't genuinely believe or use ourselves or kind of go, we love this, all right? We have been offered affiliate links through various different companies uh, and we turn them down because it's not, it doesn't make us impartial anymore, okay? And we wanna kind of make sure that we're not um, zoned in to having a, too much of a bias one way or the other. Now, as you, always, this collar has been sent to me um, for free, so there is that to consider, okay? However, uh, the amount of stuff that I get for free and don't do a video on would hopefully give you an idea of how uh, how much integrity means to us, okay? So, let me talk you through what could possibly be the safest dog collar in the world. This is the lead of the pack bodyguard, okay? So, it comes with a Cobra Pro style um, clip, which was like many of the others in the last video. Uh, it has webbing on the top, uh, but this one is leather lined, okay? Now, aesthetically, I really like this collar. It has, um, various different colors. You can choose uh, what color leather you want and what color webbing that you want. And that, for me, I went for uh, brown or tan on this beige and I love it. It fits Khaleesi. They're made to measure, okay? So it perfectly fits your dog, all right? But it's not adjustable. It's perfectly tailored to your dog. Now, um, D-ring, standard kind of D-ring, no big whoops there. Um, there are a couple of other bits that I would like to mention. So things like um, the cons, let me go through some of the cons first, okay? So if you look at the stitching, all right? In many places where it's important, it's double stitched and nicely done. It's all secure, I'm not concerned about that. But aesthetically, where they've attached the lever to the webbing, it's a bit shoddy. If we, can, if we compared it to some of the bigger names like JTAC K9, uh, K9 Crew, those kind of guys, then this doesn't really compare, okay? Not that I'm worried it's gonna fall about part. This is a very secure collar. Now here, I've got a piece of Velcro. I'm not a fan of the Velcro itself. It's a bit cheapy, if I'm honest, the Velcro. Has a, a bit of a attack feel to it, but it does an important job. And it secures this extra Cobra buckle to the collar. So when your dog's wearing it, this isn't flapping about. Well. What's that for? Well, let me let you in. Because when you order the collar, it comes with this, okay? Now, don't get it twisted. This is not a harness. If it was a harness, it would possibly be the worst harness I've ever seen. And that is because uh, when you put this on with the back piece, any pressure that you put on the harness will be on the neck as well, and that goes against the idea of a harness for me. If I'm putting a harness on a dog and I want them to pull or I need them to pull or I'm doing it for their comfort, then the idea is to take the pressure away from the neck and this will just have that pressure on the neck. But don't get it twisted. This is not a harness. This is the lead of the pack, bodyguard. Now what this does is this makes it the safest collar in the world, okay? so. To attach it, I literally just clip it in um, and we place this on as if it was a harness. What are the pros to that? Well, if you've got a brand new rescue dog or you've got a specifically quite fearful dog and you're worried about them escaping or you've got an escape artist who does get out of their collar, then this will give you an extra point of contact 
an extra point of security on your dog. There's a D-ring on the back and a D-ring on the collar. So if you were to use a double-ended lead, it gives you two points on the dog. If they were to slip this, which is gonna be a lot less likely if it's already attached, but if they were, you still have this on, which is gonna give you the extra seconds to, to grab hold of that dog, okay? Um, now this part is adjustable, although it's all made to measure. That goes around the waist of your dog, secures, and then there's an extra little buckle there uh, just to keep it all tucked away and nice. Uh, there is a handle on the top there. Now the handle has Velcro underneath again. The, the Velcro, they called it a, a comfort handle. It gives you an, a, a, the ability to get a hand on your dog if you need to use, use that as a handle, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, having the Velcro there doesn't make it comfortable, but I'd rather the Velcro was there so that this sits nice and flush uh, until the point that I actually need it, okay? It's not a, uh, it's much less of a snagging hazard if it's tucked away like that. So that's a very, very nice touch. I've got to say, if you have a particular type of dog who's worried or, you're, or, or is an escape artist, then this could well be a very good option. It's a very, very clever idea and I do like it. So I wanted to let you know, uh, especially if you're a dog trainer and you're dealing with these kind of dogs that might benefit from these or, or you're dealing with clients that have these kind of dogs, um, then this might be an option for you uh, just to have that extra level of security. Now, talking about dog trainers and extra level of security, at the moment it's lockdown. Or if you're in one of the countries that's gone back into lockdown, I feel your pain. It can be quite worrying. A lot of you I'm seeing on social media talk about shutting your businesses down and that kind of stuff. Well, we have tried to help. Now, a course by the School of Canine Science called Business in a Box was released last time that we went into lockdown, but we shut it off because um, we were dealing with the, the clients that we had already. Um, and it wasn't a long-term goal for us. It was a something that we can give to dog trainers to help them through quite a difficult time. Because of lockdown happening again, we have reopened those doors, all right? So what does Business in a Box do for you? Well, basically it teaches you how to do this, how to film, how to talk to camera, how to write courses, how to edit them together, how to put them online, all of the stuff that you need to know. And we're giving you the option to put it on a platform, okay? A platform that will be branded to your company, your logo, okay? And it has all of the stuff. It's basically the idiot's guide to taking your business online. Now, we've realized that this is a long-term thing, right? Hopefully coronavirus isn't, but the way that the world is going, everything's going online. So it gives you the opportunity to do that now. When I say now, it takes time to learn these things. It takes time to produce videos and to make them to high enough quality that you'd be proud of them to put them out for your business. And we know that, that a lot of companies need that money now. So what we're doing to help with that is myself, Joe and Dean have put together a good dog course, which is basically us teaching a level one course for, for dog owners, okay? It's not available publicly uh, unless it's through one of the um, schools that have done our course, okay? We're gonna give that to you straight away, included in the price, so that you have something on your platform immediately that you can email out to your clients uh, and to get them training, to get them work. It gives you something to sell from the off so that you're not stranded without a way to earn money. So if you're interested, then check out the website, all the Ws, caninescience.online, and uh, you'll be able to learn more about it there. Uh, if you've got any questions, then don't be afraid to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below, funnily enough. And what else can I say? Collars, let me know. Have I missed a collar that you think is a safer collar than the um, lead of the pack bodyguard? Is there something that you don't like about this? Have you got one already? Do you love it? I want to know what your thoughts are. Um, and listen, Drop in a like, drop in a comment on this video. It really helps us out. So I really appreciate you for doing that. And I, if you're not already, then think about hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, that's enough from me. And Blake, who just hit the camera. I'll see you in the next one.